two, one. Robots activate. And we're back in autonomous qualification. Match number 70, already a midfield collision between 3476 and 604, who send a note straight into the stands. Actually, right into their section of the stands. I don't know if they planned that, but that was sick. Red Alliance scoring six notes to the Blue Alliance's five. As such, they're going to have a lead after Autonomous. 973s cleaning up the Blue Alliance wing and sending it towards their own wing as they prepare to feed 3476 Code Orange. 359 looking to keep up their 100% win rate in blue bumpers, sending notes down the field to 3310. The team from Texas scoring an amplified shot, trying to make up the deficit that they have to the Red Alliance, but the Red Alliance is also amplified themselves, but Code Orange missed a crucial shot just a little bit low on that one. 3310 also fighting a little bit of a jam inside the robot. They clear it and score inside the Blue Alliance amp. 359 sending another note downfield to the Texas team. 604 on their way back, ready to help with this amplification. Notes going up at the Red Alliance, still ahead 75 to 60. 3476 cleaning up more notes inside the Red Alliance wing, passed by 973. The three time world champs now pivoting to a little bit of defense, trying to slow down 359 and 604 from passing notes to 3310. 36-63, continue the passing onslaught towards Code Orange, trying to score as many amplified notes as they can. Blue Alliance still trying to stay in this match. 973 now peeking up one of the notes that 3310 was planning on using to score. 604, 3310 now scoring in the amplified blue speaker. Trying to make up the deficit that they have, but the Red Alliance is amplified too. 3476, an amplified shot from them. Under 30 seconds left. Both Red Alliance has pulled a clear of the LA bonus. Blue Alliance still trying to do that as well, but 3310 are going to punt and go towards the trap. 359 also looking to do the same as our 604. Can we see a triple trap from this Blue Alliance with four seconds left? 3310 have got the trap up. 3476 have as well as time expires. Scores coming up for that match. It's your Red Alliance taking this one 120 to 90. Red Alliance having a 4 RP match, boosting the ranking of all three Red Alliance members. The Blue Alliance not walking away empty handed, grabbing the ensemble bonus ranking point. RSN, what just happened? Well, we knew that there was going to be ranking implications in that match. Quicksilver dropping down into the number seventh position while CPR coming up into the number eight spot. Yeah, in that matchup, the Red Alliance was just really great at passing. It seemed like they always had a surplus of notes downfield so they could just keep on putting them in. Where the Blue Alliance, they started to dry up. 3310, trying to crank through those notes, putting them in the amp, putting them in the speaker, but they would just run out for periods, and, and 604 had to come downfield and try to do cycles instead of passes. Yeah, unfortunate for the Blue Alliance, 90 points, definitely nothing to scoff at, but uh, coming away with one ranking point in that match, so not even able to put the full 25 notes into scoring position to get that Melody RP. Moving on to match number 71. Um, I, I said earlier, has, has 1690 even played today? The answer was no. And we finally get to see our reigning world champs here in match number 71, 1690 on the Red Alliance with our current number one seed, that's 2910. So this could be a preview of what we're gonna see this afternoon in the playoffs. Who are they facing on the Blue Alliance, Mason? Blue Alliance, they've got 29. 6619 Gravitex X 
going against the number 12 seed West Harvard Westlake Robotics 1 1 4 8. They've got 22 ranking points. So with a four ranking point match, they can get up to 26, which puts them into the picker position. And they're partnered up with with the team from the PNW Bare Metal 2046. They've got 24 ranking points. So with for them, and they're looking at trying to get a four ranking point match that would tie them with the Blazing Bulldogs who are in the number three seed position. So even though we only have two qualification matches left, there is still a lot up in the air for the top eight seeds who are guaranteed Alliance captains. Yeah, 1690 currently in the eighth ranked position. So a good match paired with uh, team 2910 could pull them up into the, you know, the not eighth position, which is a better place to be usually uh, than lower down in the rankings. Uh, so with this match coming up and so many implications, let's send it back down to the field and see what happens in match number 71.